Shalom Chavrim. My name is Stephen Ben Danun here in Israel. Uh, actually, right now in the apartment, not very much anything fancy here, but, uh, but we thank God for it. Uh, it's comfortable. We have five of us here in a two bedroom, and uh, my father in law are two children, and my wife and myself. Um, but we thank God. We thank God for your love and support and helping us to get this place and to be able to come here uh, to do the work of the Lord here in Jerusalem. Uh, last couple of days, we haven't been able to film on location anywhere because we've been dealing with certain issues that make it possible for us to get these videos out to you. One of those was uh, we ended up having to get a annual lease on, not an annual lease, but an annual contract on the internet because that the internet that's provided here is just far too slow to be able to upload the videos. Normally when I would come in, we go to upload. It takes six hours for one video, a 30 minute video to upload. Well, we got that all changed, got the internet system in, and uh, so now we're able to post much faster. Uh, books in the background, some of these are Hebrew from French to Hebrew, so whoever owns this place, uh, much, uh, I believe they live in France and uh, speak French, so uh, if you're trying to figure out what's in the background, that's what that is. But anyway, on a very serious note, I wanted to make this video specifically, I actually have on my prayer shawl here, to maybe set the theme of what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I don't know, maybe it was a week ago, I posted a video and I asked you guys, if you had prayer requests, send us your prayer request. Uh, if you can, try to keep it just a couple of lines or so, um, because I want to take those requests and I want to go to the Wailing Wall uh, and literally read every one of them. Now we're going to take then and copy that, shrink the print down, and put that on, uh, just try to get it into one piece of paper. If not, I'll just roll up every sheet that I get and take those down there and place those requests in the wall. And uh, quite frankly, from my heart, when we thought about doing this, it was, you know, I felt in my heart to do it. You know, and, and yet it was a goodwill gesture I wanted to be able to do for you guys, especially for those that cannot come, that would love to come, that would love to, uh, to go before um, the most sacred site for the Jewish people today, which is the Wailing Wall. And we say that because it's the closest place that is to the Holy of Holies. Uh, in fact, there's one place up underneath, uh, up underneath the buildings there that's in an underground uh, tunnel that's the very closest place. Uh, it's not that easy just to, to walk in there and go to that, but you can, you can go there as well. But nonetheless, what we were wanting to do was to go and to pray because it is a tradition amongst the Jewish people to go and to offer prayers there. In fact, Gershon Solomon, a good friend of mine, shared with me a photo one day of um, a lady that he knew that took a picture of the Shekinah glory, the pillar of fire that came down on the temple wall itself. God revealing himself that he was there, hearing the prayers of his people. And uh, I, I say this to you, and the reason I do is because just, I, I believe this was yesterday, I'm right here, no more than three paces away from where I'm standing at now, and the Spirit of the Lord come upon me. And for me, I can't say it's sensation chills or, or goosebumps or anything like that. I know different people talk about those things there. But for me, it's like going into another world. It's like seeing in another world. And I become speechless. I, I'm not able to communicate with the people around me, although I can hear, hear you. Um, if you're there, my wife was pretty close to me, and she says, what's wrong? And I just said, wait, just, just, just uh, I can't even really talk. I'm just trying to get her to not say nothing. Just wait. It's all right. You know, because she's concerned that something could be wrong with me. And um, I stood there for a moment, and I waited to see what the Lord, what was on his heart. And... Um, as I stayed in that presence for a few moments, then I looked up at my wife and I said, um, I know when we're to go and pray for the people. She said, when? 
I said, on Passover. I said, the Lord has placed it in my heart to go and pray for the people that the death angel will pass over them. So especially if you're watching this video right now and you have a request, you have a loved one that is not saved or a loved one that is dying, whether it be cancer or whatever the case may be, please let me know. I believe that the death angel will pass over them. This is what he laid on my heart was to take your request on the day of Passover. And it may be because he knows judgment is about to strike. It's about to strike America for the politicians' rejection of Israel and the desire to divide the land of Israel. So send me your request. My wife is moving them over into a saved male area right now. I'll take everything that I can. I would probably say Sunday or Monday, probably say Monday evening. Um, even about 6 o'clock Monday afternoon, you guys, this time. Because then our Passover week begins on Tuesday here. And then I'll take those requests. And... My wife will probably catch a little video of when we actually go there so you can see what the atmosphere is there on Passover. Um, but to me, it's an intimate time. I don't want to record what's being said or how that's, because every prayer request will be personal for people. But you'll be able to see that I will take the time by God's grace and read each and every one of them, even if it's hundreds. That's one reason why I ask if you would try to be very short and to the point about the need. God bless you. We love you. And we say to you, Shalom. Amin Yisrael from Israel. Bo Yerushalayim. Here in Jerusalem. Laila Tov. Good night. Good night.